So what we're going to do here today is uh, look at pen and ink techniques. So these are ways to add value. Um, some of them you might have heard of before, like stippling. Those are little dots or cross hatching or hatching. You might have done those in one of your previous classes. So we're going to look at these because we're going to do these uh, for our next project. So we're going to practice some of them first. Um, so I'm going to grab a quarter and I'm going to draw six circles across the top. Now, you can do this in a regular pen, say you have a ballpoint pen around. You can do this in a fine tip Sharpie or um, I'm going to use a Micron pen here. But a regular pen or a fine tip Sharpie will work as well. All right, so six. Give probably about a half inch of space in between each one. And then we're going to go ahead and label underneath. So we're going to label this first one stippling. Then we're going to go ahead and label hatching. Then cross hatching. Then we're going to do contour cross contour and scumbling. All right, so the next thing I want you to do is I want you to take a ruler or some kind of straight edge. So if you don't have a ruler, just use a piece of cardboard or something. Uh, and I want you to essentially draw a value scale and a gradient scale. So the one up top is gonna have seven boxes in it. So again, if you don't have a ruler, just do your best with the straight edge. So seven boxes. And then the bottom one is not going to have um, any boxes, so you, but you can give it two sides, so left and a right side. Okay, so uh, what I have done is I've put up a image of a sphere, um, something that is, uh, you know, a circle, three-dimensional looking uh, with value. I've put that up on my computer, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on um, the Google Classroom so that you can see it, and so you know what I am um, referencing in terms of value. So I'm not just putting value in here or however I want to put it in there. I am actually looking at something in order to place that value. So for stippling, stippling is a bunch of dots. So I'm going to use dots to make value. When you're doing that, you don't want to try to be perfect. You're not a computer. So don't try to line them up. 
all right? And don't try to outline things. So just try to be haphazard about it, um, making sure that you're looking at the areas where it's lighter and where it's darker, and making sure that you're getting more dots uh, where it is darker. So the closer those dots are, the darker it's gonna be. The farther away those dots are, um, the lighter it's gonna be. When you go to hatching, those are lines in one direction. So you're gonna start in one direction, you're gonna stay in that direction. The closer those lines are, the darker it's going to be, the farther away those lines are, the lighter it's going to be. One of the things that you don't wanna do is go too fast, because when you go too fast, you start to get these little hooks on your ends and it starts to look a little bit sloppy. So you wanna just try to slow down so that your lines are as straight as they can be. With that being said, you don't wanna use a ruler just like with stippling, you're not a computer, you're not going to get all of your lines in the same exact direction and it's going to look um, basically like you were trying too hard and, and you're not gonna be able to do it. Cross hatching is lines in um, <clears throat> multiple directions. So you're gonna overlap in order to create value. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna start off with my lines in one direction, but where I wanna get darker, I'm gonna go in a different direction. And as I need to get darker and darker, I'm gonna go closer and also overlap more. And then with my contour, I wanna think about the shape. So I'm making a sphere. So I can have lines going circular. Um, and then I also wanna think about this direction as well. So uh, I'm gonna be able to have lines that are following like so. Um, in my contour lines and closer together is gonna be darker, just like every other method we've tried so far. With the cross contour, then I can go bring in the other direction. So I can start to think about these lines that are going across. You can see I'm curving them slightly as they come out. That middle line would be straight across, but then they'd curve up or they'd curve down. Scumbling, you are simply doing a controlled scribble. By controlled, tighter, where you need to go darker, looser, where you need to go lighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and work through this. You can work through this along with me. Um, you can keep the video on and then I'll move down to these sections. Again, I'll have the image up that I'm looking at so that you can use the same one and get the values in the right place.
Okay, so stippling and cross hatching are usually the two that are the easiest to do. Cross hatching is less forgiving because it's very easy to go way too dark. And with pen, there's no going back. Stippling takes longer, but it's so much more forgiving and you can get these really smooth values pretty easy with it. Um, so uh, we're gonna move forward with stippling in the main subject of our next project, which you're gonna be introduced to here shortly. And then you're gonna be able to choose one of these other ones um, to do in the background. Uh, so for down here, what I want you to do is I want you to choose um, stippling for this part right here. And then you can choose any other one for the gradient scale. So just like with any of our other value scales that we've done before, each one of these should look like a very separate block. Down here in the um, gradient scale, you should go from a really dark jet black with the technique that you've chosen to a white, but you should do that gradually and we shouldn't see any lines in there. So it should be smooth and blended. The transitions um, should be nice and even. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Again, this is gonna be stippling. And this down here is your choice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You can uh, watch me or work alongside me. Um, and uh, we'll see how it goes.
this here. Um, you can do this on either on sketchbook paper, but you can do this on uh, just regular copy paper. That would be fine. If you don't have any plain paper, then you can do this on lined paper um, as a last resort. If you want to do it on colored paper, that would be fine as well, as long as it's nice and light, like a pink or a yellow. Um, so yeah, so this is our first step. This is our practice. 